What's up, everyone? It's me, Adam Prime, and I am back for probably a very timely... Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably not that timely. Um, <laughs> This Week in Toku, brought to you by the Toku Brew Podcast. I'm still inconsistent on how I say it, but with me, as always, is my lovely, dashing, debonair, other words, adjectives, all of the adjectives... Uh, yeah. You're really running out of ideas, aren't you? <laughs> the bit can only run on for so long. We're like thirty stop. something. You could stop if you wanted. Do I have to though? I mean, I guess you don't have to compliment me. See, that's what you're saying. You're the one who told me. You're the one who said it. The one who said what? You don't that I don't have to do it. I mean, yeah, you don't have to. Doesn't mean I won't. But this week, um, as you can tell, we've gotten a little bit behind, mostly because I've been doing the 12 days of writer. That's also, a lot. Kind of life gotten yeah, life that, life. yeah, that, and it's like, I just haven't really had the time. And so, now. yeah, so it's a little t untimely and we have two episodes of Decker, but only one of Geats and Dawn Brothers. So, uh. Does that mean we only have Geats? Uh, depending on when we record, we're recording this on a Saturday, I sh we should say. And at least right now, there are no Geats or Don Brothers English subs, at least when we're recording this. Watch, I'm going to find out that they were um, subbed and like put up like right after we're done recording or something. Yeah, just watch. Jesus. But yeah, whenever we next record, if there is a Decker episode, there will be one. But we have two this this week. And unintentionally, they go really well together, so... Well, in a way, yeah. It, very, it wasn't a part one, part two, but it really felt like one. Um, and this is the pri the f episode, like, 18 or... Is it 19 or something like that? Is the Price of Prosperity, and the other one is, um, the Fall of Bizord... Bizode? Bizudo? Bella Saludo? I don't know. Um, Bella Lugosi? But yeah, the first one was about like this company. Isn't it like uh, Blizzo or something? I don't remember. Now that you put like Bizzo four, different, four different versions. It's B A Z D O. Bizzo. B A Z D O. Yeah. Bizzo. I don't know. I don't know. Even like we've heard them say it in the show, we still can't figure it. <laughs> Doesn't mean we can pronounce it. Doesn't give me that ability. But yeah, overall, we open up with like. This company's trying to use the sphere to use hyperspeed. Uh, it, they're trying to get they, light speed for like space. Using a sphere way. carcass. And I was, yeah, it was a. I think I'm saying the word carcass. And I was like, this feels very weird. It's very nasty. Yeah, and I immediately was just like, gee, I wonder how this is gonna. So yeah. By the way, if these episodes kind of blend in together, that's just because we're not really gonna separate. But we're it just gonna kind of treat them as one long thing, as if it was a part one, part two. Yeah. So pretty much, as soon as they're just like, "Oh, we better get some people down here so we can deal with this right away before something happens," something immediately happens. Yeah, because they, they're like, "Well, these guys are gonna come and start meddling with things, so we might as well turn it up." And immediately backfires it was not dead um, yeah it makes a geomoss or something like that i can't remember the exact name of the monster but it was this really powerful monster that summons a sphere saurus it looked like the diablo it monster. does it did look Logo? look, look is, is like that, is that creature actually in diablo in diablo 3 um i'm not sure i've never played it anyway it i know the box art though rock satan rock satan <laughs> So Diabolo. Um, so yeah, he's Diabolo now, and so Spherosaurus pops out, and Kanata's just like... It's like some sort... I think they said it was like some sort of Spherosaurus yeah. from like the future or something like that. I don't know. Time travel, it's getting weird. Um, but Kanata goes to reload, and somebody was nice enough to hand him a clip. A nice little magazine. It was Agams. Yeah, he's just like, suck it. He's just like, you suck. I jokingly was just like, can you imagine if he just turned to him just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just unleash the clip on him, just like ah! <laughs> But like, for whatever reason, Decker couldn't transform, and and Agams kind of told him he was like, oh, it's because you've lost your vision for the future, or your hope in the future, yeah, or something, something like, like that. that. And we don't know how that's connected. Save in the future? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? It could probably have been translated fifty different ways. But um, he. 
So yeah, he couldn't transform. So it makes... I don't know if it's one of those things where it's just like he just he was like, mentally holding himself back from doing it he was or doubts as yeah as well. and or like who knows if it, like there was an actual reason or if it was just all mental it really was never stated but uh, obviously by the end he does get out of it but who shows up lo and behold we got Dinah yeah, I'm a little out disappointed of, out of nowhere just Dinah just kind of shows up yeah comes from the future starts kicking ass too. well yeah and it's like i love that we get to see him and we get to see them team up and everything that was awesome but i'm disappointed we didn't get to see oscar himself because we see interviews and everything with takeshi suna with um kanada's actor so we know they can be in the same room where it's like i don't know if they're scheduling conflicts or whatever maybe this is like set up for something later on i just I mean, there's not that many episodes left, right? Like, I, I guess, and I'm hoping at least by the ending episode we do get to see that, because me knowing that the actor is probably easier to get, because it's like, Tiga, I understood. With this, it's like, you're promoting Decker with with Takeshi Suno. Like, he's there, just get in front yeah, of Yeah, it's like, it's like, so why can't he be able to be filmed? And if there's some other reason that comes out to why, fine. Whatever. But until well, I get like an if answer, they have an actor and like he's been so prevalent in it. Like, why wouldn't they use it? So there must be some sort of reason that we just don't know yet. That's yeah, kind of my thought. Maybe it was already all filmed. Who knows? Um, hopefully we see it by the end. But overall, the fight with Dino was really kind of cool. That was really fun. Like, and we, I thought for a moment he was gonna punch through Terra Phaser, like how he punched through Death Phaser. That would have been a really cool reference to that because Terra Phaser does show up. But yeah. Shocker. Yeah. Spearsaurus died at some point. I don't remember how he died. Uh, mm -hmm. Though we do get an interesting little tidbit that we learn in the next episode where it's just like, oh, they sensed some of, like, um, the anomaly they spear. energy. They spe like, sensed sphere. I wasn't going to specifically say sphere yet, but okay. <laughs> well, that's just what they said. It's like They, they said it was, like, the anomaly energy or something like that. Well, yeah. Yeah, like, the like, anomaly... they basically sensed, like, some of the sphere inside of Telephaser. Terraphaser, and he's just like Terraphaser. Telephaser is the phone version. <laughs> that, that's that's um that's Agam's cell phone. Yeah, that's Terraphaser, and this is Telephaser. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can I get a pizza? Hello. Uh, yeah. Yes, Pizza Hut. Uh, I will take all of your pizzas. But yeah, no, and that's pretty much that episode. He like Kanata gets his resolve, teams up with Dinah. It's really cool. By the way, Dino, um, he was in dynamic type the whole time, so I was surprised they didn't do the like Flash in with Flash, Miracle, and Strong with the other with the his versions of it. Yeah, his version is like Miracle. Well, yeah, Miracle and well, all his forms are Decker's forms as well. That's fair. Except for dynamic type, it's the only one <laughs> that Dinah doesn't have. And my fucking name is on it. Um. I think I think that's pretty much it for that episode. It's kind of was just like dealing being like, hey, what's the cost of us innovating if it's going to end up hurting people along the way? So you kind of just got to accept that there's going to be consequences when you do do something. And uh, during the opening conversation, by the way, because Kanata and Raymond like go to this company and they're talking to basically their CEO, if I remember correctly. Uh-huh. And... Obviously, it's mainly Kanata and the CEO mainly talking back and forth, and but Raymond is kind of in the middle and kind of, like, in the forefront, like, he's a little bit in focus. And I looked up every once in a while from reading the subs, and you can really actually kind of you see... You could see it on his face. I have to give kudos to the actor, because you could see his thought process hearing the It's like, he's pissed. Like, you can tell what he was thinking Yeah, and feeling. like, they were saying, like, how wrong it is that they were using the sphere and everything... But he also made a couple of good points. Where it's like... And he's using them for the wrong reasons, obviously, and not doing, and he's doing it in a very dangerous way that ended terribly, as obviously. we discussed. But he's just like, well, we wouldn't be here now if we didn't innovate with what, with like... So with, it's kind what we were given, essentially. Yeah. So why is what I'm doing any different? So yeah, it's like, there's no... It's something like that. I feel like I'm not wording it that well. But, but yeah, no, it was overall... the gist of it. Yeah, it was overall really solid message and everything. 
But yeah, the next episode was literally just we're getting Agam's backstory. After we find out he's been sphered. <laughs> so, yeah, he has the uh, the sphere inside him. I guess we don't know is like is he like fused with it? Or is it just inside of him? I think he's kind of holding it inside of him cuz we see it kind of peek out at one point. We see like the makeup on it, which is actually like a 3D prosthetic. I thought it was just painted on him. Like no, they actually I, It might have been for like when it was like a little bit less. But yeah, no. So we find out who Lila is. So, and we also learn exactly what happened with him and his planet. Um, so he so we found out that humans, like Earthlings, like crash landed on Bazord, or Bizord. whatever. Um, and they were like, "Hey, we were attacked by the Sphere," and they were like, "Oh, we gotta take them out." Yeah, like they agreed to help the fight, but that made the Sphere target their planet. Yeah, they were like, "All right, let's encapsulate this planet." And in the process of this happening, this killed his Layla, his, his wife. wife. Yeah. A lot, and who? Whatever reason, never mentioned. Also, his dog. Flusta? I, th yeah, I think it was like Flusta, and it's just like the cutest little. It's, cutest little Shiba Inu. it's the space Shiba in you. Space Shiba in you. It. By the way, it's like it's stuff like that that always makes me laugh. Where it's like, so is that like the same animal, but shouldn't it be different if it evolved on a different planet? See, it's different <laughs> because it wasn't screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, uh, Shiba Inu are known to be very vocal, <laughs> like huskies. Um, but yeah, no, and it was almost really sad. They don't sad. Howl at them. They, they scream. <laughs> yeah. You were howling. Yeah. They go, ah! <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> moving on from the Shiba Inu. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, they're dead. Yeah. They're and, taking pictures and it was having, really a picnic, having a good old time, and suddenly they were dead. And it's like, you feel almost really bad for Agams a little bit because we do see because he pops up in the telephone they ha try to have some he he calls them essentially and is like hey meet me here because he was trying to lure them like they, he was trying to like lure them he had the captain yeah to lure them so they could attack him with Chandler because he keeps saying like you guys are like my biggest obstacle so yeah and then so, Chan and then Chandler walks in but, and like they were ready to full on snipe him it was kind of ridiculous yeah that exactly was, like that was pretty funny actually. like a real ass sniper rifle um but my favorite part was um when Chandler when Chandler came in and was like can I be any more winged monster <laughs> and then like he had googly eyes it was pretty funny I <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Um, I know it's probably meant Could to be I, Chandler or something like that. Could I be any more dead? They defeat him. Yeah, it's he, not that hard. Yeah, yeah like, th it and seemed like they weren't even having that much of a problem without Decker. Exactly, because they even... He, they even say, he's just like, yeah, it wasn't that much of a problem. I think he's starting to get just desperate. Yeah, we think he's just desperate. But he does pop up in Telephaser and like a... After he gets more place. sphered, yeah. And... This also makes sense as to why it's like, oh, how that's how Telehazer might be getting stronger, being powered because remember he like plugs himself into that machine and he has the sphere in him. So yeah, that's where all like maybe all the power is coming from. Why he can only do it for so long because it's literally probably exhausting him. But we also start to see because what was something that we learned when he was on the moon with Trigger? When you get when you when you're around the spheres, you forget everything well i don't know if that's why but yeah no like for what of course that's why it is what are you talking well no about? the only reason i think that one alien was because yapool stopped possessing that one's body no it happened to them too didn't it no it didn't happen well it was stated in that episode but i don't that was like that was what they were like getting that point across because i imagine that's what they were trying to like follow through with here because he starts to forget his oh, wife's face and oh mantra. yeah and he's like freaking out and he's just like Do you know yeah. what i'm talking about no now? okay i know what you're talking about now and that was that was really sad when he says i'm not gonna forget your face no i don't want to lose my drive my reasoning and we get two. he, he can't even recite his speech yeah that, yeah that's what i was saying he can't recite her mantras anymore and he can't remember her face He's really freaking out. Sad, yeah. You could tell they really did love each other. Like, and it's like the actor plays it really well. Yeah. And, um, I, uh, I don't remember which comes first, but, like, during this fight, there, I think what comes first is, like, basically, like, they nuke each other and, like, oh, that's how it ends. 
No, I, because they fall into the thing and they eventually like go back up. Oh, that one. Okay, never mind. So, so yeah, like, they yeah, fall into the they deeper fall city. Into this giant hole, and it's very cool. It's very. It looks like, like hell. It looks like a mixture of hell and Doctor Strange of like, because like you see like the buildings. The like, broken like, ass buildings. On, like going up the hole that they're in, like this giant ditch essentially. Yeah. And it, it's like all fiery. And, and there's just cars. And smoke and just like debris everywhere. Very destroyed. I loved the set. It was very cool. And, like, you know, you kind of see, like, you know, it's them fighting rather than the suits for a little bit. That was cool. And then, and then they eventually get out of it. I think they punch each other out of it or something like that. Yeah. And we get this other really good shot because I think it's, like, raining. And there's, like, this alleyway. And it's obviously, like, a set that they built. Like, a miniature set. And you just see Decker on top of Teleparry who's just beating the absolute shit out of it. And, like, as, like, we're going through this, like, alleyway. Like, just watching him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Him senseless. And eventually, like, they get up and they, like, you know, they kind of end in a draw because they both just kind of yeah. like, run out of And then should we... Time. Yeah. So, as we already said, um, Ackham's at the end of the episode has no memories. But Raymond... No, we didn't actually mention that like he starts to forget but yeah at the very end of this episode he's he completely forgets who he is he's like I, am i on my home planet what's going on he's like on? this isn't what's happening but yeah we get a thing with raymond at the end because Ra after they fucking <laughs> fall over glitter away raymond sees decker turn into kanata we finally have someone that knows yeah it's sure. like there's no way someone yeah you can avoid it. it yeah you just saw him glitter down into his regular like, form oh my god and then, yeah, and then Agam shows up, and he's just like, who am I? Where? Wh I don't think, I think he knows who he is, but he's like, where am I? Am I on, am I on Blitzo? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't, but yeah, no, and that's pretty much, that's all that those two episodes did. They were really good, yeah. they were really well shot. They were really good episodes. Really, 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 very interesting, really of going further with their good, story. A lot of good acting, a lot of good... Like camera angles and like set pieces and cinematography lots of good stuff and a lot of good storytelling yeah like a solid good two two weeks um the preview seems to show like that it is true like he's not like pulling a thing and he's like really well mannered but like he's that's... weirdly upbeat <laughs> oh who's gonna tell him his wife's dead <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Don't, but, like, don't tell him that <laughs> yeah maybe leave that part out well, yeah, and, you know, I feel like another thing that we didn't really mention is Kanata really does just kind of point out his selfishness in this, which yeah. makes sense, because... Like, how selfish Agams is being. Because he's like, this... Like, these people are out there still fighting for this planet. Yeah, like, it's not over. Revenge for. It's like, when their fight is still happening, like, you have It's like, even, it's like, yeah, your wife is dead, but, like, it's not over. But, um... Is that pretty much it for Decker? Yeah, that's pretty much it for Decker. All right. Dawn Brothers. Dawn Brothers. Both this was really... both a really thickly in plot. Can we just get the B plot kind of out of the way since it was so detached from the rest of it, but it's worth talking about? And Are you talking about Haruka's yes. plot? But So Haruka gets her driver's license. She's being trained by Gamel, the greed from O's. Wasn't he? Wasn't he also in a couple Sentai though? Yeah, he apparently was also in a, um, a Sailor Moon. Oh, I didn't he was know in that. Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, and he it was also a monster in a uh, Decker Ranger. Cool, but yeah, and, like she has a couple of like driving instructors, and she breaks their necks. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and he and just preemptively had a, a neck brace. It is hilarious how terrible she is at this. It legitimately she started driving her. backwards. Yeah, and like he, I love the attitude of I'm just gonna call him Gamble because I don't know the actual character's name in this, but it was just so good. Like he he met her, he met her energy. It was really fun. And it was just really cool seeing those two bounce off. Of and he other. was the monster, by the way, at the end. Because he was just like, how do I teach her? And she does eventually get her license at the... She runs the fuck over Murasame. We'll get to that later, but she runs that... Put a pin into the, her running over she, Murasame. Yeah, she like, turns into a speed demon. She goes into her suit. She just like chases that bitch down in her car. She smacks him with her fucking door handle. She went full drive. She fought him she, with a car. She made drive blush. Like. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it was fucking funny. It was and awesome. there's not like a whole lot to say about it, but I do love that it ends with her trying to get... um. 
Sorrow Brother, Taro. Kajino, and Taro to She's get like, drive. Let's go for a drive. There By the way, no Jiro. No Jiro. Noth- no f- development on the penguin shit. Oh yeah, I never noticed that. What the fuck, people? Yeah, it, Taro looked actually scared. Which yeah, Taro was just like, run! She's it. How fucked up her car was. Hollis! <laughs> and she chased the bitches down in reverse with like the trunk open to try and catch them. And I got. Oh my god, her pr- her Prius is fucking so fucked up. Really need to stop dropping things like that. Never. Um. But yeah, no, that was pretty much her B plot was trying to get her driver's license and her being really bad at it. I feel. Like, I wonder if they film. It's so funny. B plots just separately from everything, so they're like. Okay, well, no, you can't say. And let's try and fit these in just one. I don't after. think so, because you have to think he. She had to run over Murasami because of the A plot. That's fair. Like. That news what we saw in the preview as well. So. I guess. All right, so, well, I, yeah, obviously they're going to have it done way so, at the time, but whatever. So, we open up the episode with Murasame pretty much with Sonaza being like, uh... I gotta go kill something real quick. Not even I have to kill something real quick. Well, he said fight. I've learned everything. No, he's like, I've learned everything. You are you can't make me any stronger. I'm leaving. Yeah, but he's just like, I'm bursting with energy. Yeah. I need to fight somebody. Mom, I want to fist fight somebody. And she's like, good job. She's like, all right, let's go on a murder. And she, and then, he Subasa. Sees, he sees Subasa, and he's like, "That'll work." Mom, no, mom was like, "Kill." <laughs> and he beats the shit out of him and throws Makes, him off a roof. <laughs> yeah, he goes blind. Um, and Sinoni. White lady. Yeah. Sinoni. I'm gonna try and say her name um, so I can remember S- it. Sinoni, I think Mary saved her, saved him right after he was thrown off the roof. No, 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 no. I don't remember exactly what happened. He got thrown off the roof. He passed out. He looked beaten the hell up. And she's just like, oh, well, if Murasame is after you, there is no saving you. So she was going to kill him. Herself. Oh, yes. Okay. That's <laughs> she wasn't saving nothing. She was just like, oh, and, but she couldn't kill him. Yeah, she couldn't do it. And then fucking, by the this whole episode, Murasame is just following him like a fucking Terminator. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like, like, kicking shit over, breaking stuff Nothing. down. Like, actually just kind of just There's blood. A, a predatory, like, stalking... There was a moment where his shark, when he his shark. Oh yeah, there was a moment. Where, he went full like, shark because I forgot that he could like go into the land like water and like his fucking sword was just peeking up out of the thing because they were hiding in plain sight in public because he knew. He she, knew since a dog. She knew that he wouldn't like attack civilians. He just na 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 na, na 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 na. Stab. Dun, 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 stab. <laughs> um, but yeah, Subas is having a dream. No, he. Well, no, at first, it's like... Oh, yeah, that's true, because he keeps saying Natsumi's name. Cause he's yeah, because he was passed out, and then he finds out he can't see. Yeah, he wakes up, and he's kind of... Days. Like, 90% blind. Like, he can kind of see the outline of... Sononi. Sononi. I'm going to have to say it a bunch so I can remember her name. And he thinks that she's... Uh, Natsumi. Natsumi. And she goes along with it. And... and she- and pretty much gets all her answers. Yeah, she... So you find out Subasa's history with Natsumi, where it's like, apparently he didn't like her at first, thinking that she was kind of a little Ooh. bitch. Um, but, like, you know, getting closer to yeah, her. And he, yeah, he just got interested. And she even asked just, like, what exactly, like, why do you love me or something? He's like, well, I don't really know. Like, I could say it's because you're really... Could, like, you're a good, like, you're a nice person, and you're beautiful, but I would still love you even if you weren't those things. You know, and it's like, first of all, so fucking sweet. Yeah, and it's like, he was really nice about it. It was really like wholesome. I a little too fast. I kind of want to go a little bit more. Okay. Into, like, what parts am I- Because you're jumping around a lot, so, like, after, like, she helps him escape, like, they're kind of, like, hiding out, and they're talking about it. And, like, she is, like, protecting him from Murasame, and again, he's just fucking ter- terminatoring around- and she keeps getting injured. Like, oh, she, yeah, by the way. I immediately noticed, like... Mother the, wasted no time. Because she was like... Remember, he was like, Hey, why is the Nauto attacking me? And she's, she's just... She's a traitor. She's yeah, a traitor. Right. She must die. Yeah. And, like, she keeps getting fucked up. Like, she keeps getting, like, scratched up. And I kind of know it's like, Oh, I wonder if they're going for, like, the... Oh, watch her, like, close slowly, like, turn away from white kind of thing. Yeah. And I think that is kind of what they were going through. Because, like, later on we'll, we see that, like... Put a pin in that. Yeah, put a pin in that. And, like, she takes him into, like, a public, like, fancy restaurant. 
and then that's when we see a little fucking shark fin, and Bruce Army legitimately stabs her in the spine. Like stabs her in the back. Like she has a wound. Like oh my gosh. Yeah. And uh, the other bestial, the cop, like comes in. I thought he because he starts like ra- ravenously like eating the fancy food. Because there's, like, a bunch of wine on the table, I thought they were going to do a gag where he's, like, viciously eating the food and then just, like, very calm. very daintily, like, just takes a cute little sip of the wine, gently puts it down, and then ravenously eats the food again. Yeah. And then, so, yeah, more running ensues. Yeah, like, again, he can't see. She's protecting him as much as possible. Um, It starts to kind of rain. Okay, like, and this they... is this is where Murasama gets hit by the car. Yeah, like, as they're running away, fucking Haruka just runs his ass over. And then he's just like, I'm tired, I'm going home. Yeah, and... The cat bestial takes him. Yeah, and because I imagine because he's tired, he doesn't really, like, move around, do much, or even talk. Yeah, he can't even possess episode. people. And, yeah... The well, he talks at the end. Remember. We'll get to that. Does he? Yes. Okay. But, um, yeah, and the bestial ends up getting it. And Tsubasa... I think this is when Tsubasa finds out he can finally see and everything. Yeah, because they're in the rain, they're running away, and then he finally starts to be able to see. Because he, like, hugs her, and, like, you see, like, this emotion on her face of, I get it. <gasps> She's like, I understand I now. she finally kind of understood She it. now knows what love and then, is. Like, but after, like, that hug, he, like, pushes her away. She's like, he's You're like. You're not to me, and his, like, vision comes back and he sees... And she's, like, in the mud and everything. I feel like this is kind of take the pin out of, like, oh, the purity, the white of, like, I don't know, the before. Yeah, it's like now she's figured it. Now she's, like, her clothes are ripped. She's bloodied. She's injured. She's, her face is fucked up. She's completely, like, covered in mud and just soiled, I guess. Like, like her clothes are soiled. I'm not saying anything. She pissed herself. I'm not saying that. (laughs) Hell no. But, um, and then, like, he's still a good guy, and he still, like, helps her her get away and everything. And he's just kind of like, why did you do this? And just being like, I wanted to I wanted to know. I wanted to know what love is. And. I wanted you to show me. I want to feel what love is. Yeah. Maybe I don't ca- hurt me no more. But, uh, anyway, so I believe, like, that's when, like, the bestial with Murasame attacks, and he- and in and in the scuffle, he's able to, like at like the very last second, like he's able to like grab the sword and slash him, and he kills the fucking cop beast. Cat cop which is we dead. No, kills the human. And this is where Murasame talks again because you remember, oh, you saved me. Right, right, right. Oh, I'm in your service. He's like, ah, oh, yes, you may use me or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So, and, like, that's when Sinoni told her, hey, if you want to get Natsumi back, Oops. use Murasame. Because Murasame is the only thing that can kill the bestials, and if you kill, if you kill Natsumi's bestial, she'll come she'll back. come back. Pretty which m- is a fat-ass lie! Yeah, which we know is a lie. How fucked up is that? She knows how much he and loves And her eyes Natsumi. change. Her eyes change to blue. Well, they, her, they're already blue, which they, like, glue blue, and... Like, is, how fucked is that? She knows how much he loves Natsumi, and she's willing, just because she wants him so badly, or whatever it is that's going on in her fucking head, she's willing to make him kill his love, thinking it will save her. Well, yeah, that's- That is so fucked, and I love it. <laughs> it's so fucked up, but it's also, like, he doesn't know how you get out of the forest. You yeah. know what I mean? Because, meanwhile, I would think he would piece it together- that he killed his doppelganger, because he did. Yeah, but I don't know if he knows that that was the quote-unquote correct way to do it. Well, yeah, exactly. So it's like, that's what I'm saying. Or it's like, you can trick him enough to where he does, he's like, oh, okay, that's true. Because he did just see Murasame kill a bestial. Which, mm-hmm. by the way, I made the joke. Where, no, yeah, and then Mother says, oh, you can't, you can't help him. He's our enemy. Where it's almost just like the, but I want to stay with Dad. <laughs> I was doing dad for the weekend. <laughs> Dog dad. Uh, and I'm so fucking ready for the next episode because the preview showed it was a Christmas episode and they are taking nothing serious. And, and the Naoto so... might be Santa. Yeah. And the like, Naoto might be Santa. Like Santa's in there. I'm fairly sure they're going to have to save Christmas. And oh my God, my body is. We're like, going to have to save Christmas? Christmas? <laughs> um, but like, that's pretty much the episode. 
Like, is there anything really else that there is to talk about? Like, Jiro didn't show up, like we said. Saruhara and... Well, Kajino had a weird little thing with Miho. Like, just kind of, like, begging her to not... Leave, leave ever. I imagine that'll probably come in later. Oh, God. But I think we got at least the majority. Which we do know now where it's like, um... Subasa already admitted where he's like, Oh, I bet you the be crane bestial isn't going to want to be around me since I know her identity now. Yeah. That's why he thought it was not to me and not the bestial of her. Yeah. So. Um, on to Geats? Yeah. Alright. So, this was quite the episode. A very Lots Punk Jack and Geats focused episode. Which makes sense, because I think they focus on the others a little bit more in the other episode. Yeah. Uh, um also weird like buff of focus but not that much focus we'll get to that <laughs> um so yeah it's like now it's the question of where do we start i'm not sure where to start here this is there's so many different options did it open with yago talking with tycoon about no stuff? but that's not a bad place to start because she was like oh yeah i'm investigating what my dad is yeah because and tycoon was talking about like like, oh, like, we were all chosen. Because she was like, oh my gosh, are we going to be able to do this without Geats? And he's like, oh, we were just kind of people picked at random. And, and she's like, no, we're not. No, like, I, they specifically, like, sought me out, at least in my case. And she's like, I know my dad has something to do with it, but I don't know what. And she actually has her bodyguards. Um, What were their names? Do you remember? Ben and. Oh my Thomas, God. Thomas, was it? No, that's the actor. Here. Well, we always call well, him Thomas. keep to Tom. Tom. Tom Constantine, everyone's favorite. <laughs> but anyway, so she. I want to call them Ben and Jerry, but I know that's oh not god. right. <laughs> oh, that'd be so good. Or Tom and Jerry. Oh my god, no. But uh, they, she she talks to them in private. It's a flashback, and she's just like, "Are you, are are you for me? Or are you for my dad? Like, who are whose side are you are you on essentially?" And they both just kind of like, y "Yours, like." They're like yours, Which of is course. really sweet. And she's like, so I'm going to ask the biggest favor I've ever asked of you. It's Ben and John. Ben and John, thank you. And she asked them to go through her father's office to try and find some information on why she was chosen and everything. And what do they find? Their ID cores. And, when they, and then she's like, how do you even know what that is? And he's like, when we touched them, we've had memories come back. And, and they, they were, were writers. writers. Oh my god. He's we are, we know Tom has uh, I I don't know about Tom, Tom Constant. He's been wanting. No, they're both they they both have like they're they were, it's like they were all over Twitter. All fucking lives to do yeah, that. exactly. It's like it was so cool to see where it's like oh sweet, and it's like not only where it's like Americans pretty much like who are aware like in the sphere of like the American side of the fandom and everything, and them being to be able to be writers where it's like. Yeah, they didn't get full suits, but just to see that they got to do their own transformation poses. Ben's did a little twirl and everything. They, like, oh, they can die happy. <laughs> they can probably die happy now. Yeah. Um, and also, like, I think this is, like, the first time... I don't really know his heritage, uh, whether he's African-American or... If he, or if I think he's American. American. Is he... Amer uh, well, um... So, like, but is either... this, like, the first time that we've had, like... An African American in a Japanese Kamen Rider production, yes. Yeah, who is not a villain? Because <laughs> I know that there have been ones that have transformed into monsters or have been villains, but no. I don't. But like a hero. Well, no, this is our first like um, actual writer. In yeah, Sentai, writer. Not in Sentai. Like I know there have been in Sentai. Yeah, but like yeah, no. I just such good stuff. I'm so happy for them. It's so good. Uh, um. So yeah, you that, can put a good word in for me. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so happy for them. But, yeah, it was such an exciting thing. And but, like, by the way, there were people making put, arguments. Put a, pin in, put a pin in that for a minute because we're going to get back to that conversation a little bit later. Oh yeah, so let's let's just start cutting through. So, so, so yeah. Punk Jack kind of got, fucks up a bit. Well, we doesn't that, fuck up. He gets fucked over. Yeah. We learned that he, like, for the Desire Grand Prix put no wish yeah you find out he doesn't have a desire he just put he literally just wrote on the thing no wish mm -hmm. and like the only thing that he put as his, uh, his uh what's it called his, was uh, he got to keep his memories if his, he drew his uh condition was like he wanted his id core he wanted to keep his memories if he got reset 
If, if he were to get Gita, he wants to keep his memories, essentially. And they agreed to that, and... Wasn't it like Geet accidentally wiggled a little too much information out of him or something? I don't think he... Because he... Basically, the Game Master gets pissed at him because he confirmed that there was a connection no, between he was just... Jack and the Game Master. Well, yeah, no. He was just more mad that he didn't do, deal with him quicker. That's more well, of what no, he... no, that, that's a... That, that it was something that he mentioned because he's like, this was the... Co- because, like, later we see that he's just like, oh, you're not going to get that anymore if you lose. And he's like, hey, that was the deal. He's like, well, this is the consequence of you not... Yeah. This is the consequence of you, like, establishing the connection between you and me. Yeah, I guess there's that. And so, Punchak is fucked, essentially. He's like, oh my god, I have to play this game. Well, yeah, he went now. from being, like, being like kicking his feet up to being like, oh shit, I have to go get a driver. Yeah, and he's just, like, really... Pro- this guy looks like he... I don't know if, like, this, like, stunt actor or if this is the actual guy hurt themselves, but, like, there was, like, two specific things that looked like they hurt so bad. There's one part, I wonder if you can get a funny screenshot of, like, when he, right when he lands on his face, but he's, like, doing a backflip, and it looks like they land straight on their face. Yeah. And also a point where they get, like, slammed into a fucking, like, cement column. I, it just looked like it actually hurt. <laughs> this is Punk Jack gets fucked up, the episode. Yeah. And... And yeah, so they're pretty much talking. And, yeah, and he's talking with Geats because now he's like... He's like, well, I'm fucked over now too. And they're like, well, if we're both losing, might as well give me the information you want. Mm-hmm. So we get the big piece of information out of the way first. Sure. So we find out what Geats' mom's name was. It was Mitsumi. M- Mitsumi. And she was the previous game navigator before Surumi. Thus proving the point that we made earlier of she could have been a game navigator so now we can confirm that she is a staff member because that was what he was asking home checks it's just like i wrote that on my desire card why couldn't it happen why he's like i don't really know why but i do know that she was a previous game he's like i've heard the name before so yeah and uh we also learned like kind of like punk jack's story a little bit of one of the reasons why he's here why he is staff because he's a family and how so the whole thing, like, I, I think, I don't know if we mentioned it on the podcast, I'm realizing. Maybe I we had, did, maybe we didn't. I'm going to kind of reiterate a little bit just in case. So sorry if this is a repeat. But we had, like, kind of theorized as we were watching the previous episodes the past weeks of, like, what if... I, I think it was because of, like, the special thing that, like, the rich guy gave. Oh, so, Lord Reginald? Yeah, I think that was the last episode. Yes. It's like, wait, what if this is, like, the Hunger Games where it's just entertainment and sponsors and money essentially rather than oh you're saving the world yeah. and i think that might have basically just been confirmed because punk jack is like my my family my family has like a lot of sponsored money or a sponsor of this and i think it was either his dad or his uncle some family i think it was his uncle was like here now and he was in debt now you're in debt because he was like a starving musician essentially and he's like here go and earn your keep and that's what made him a staff member and then what led into everything else and we kind of learn a little bit of his desire a little bit just because it's kind of hinted at that he wants to be a rock star but we don't really get anything like said yeah super straightforward no we don't but we also find out that um neon's dad is also a sponsor yes so i again like that's what we learned i'm more suspicious it just kind of not confirms but like really strengthens the theory of what if this is like the hunger also Games. um let's get a little bit of the jamato stuff thrown in here a little oh, bit yeah yeah yeah, yeah we like heard the it. um the the we had tycoon looking at one and it says i have to win or something like that it says something genpen said yeah it, it, like he immediately thinks of genpen and he's just like what what and i mean we know that they're being used for like the id cores and maybe maybe this is confirming it because again they're we, we planting saw, seeds yeah we saw like the bag of them and they're growing them like plants so it's like i imagine yeah but yeah, no, and he's just like, oh, I guess I might have been imagining it. I don't know. But then we cut back to the farmer who's meeting with this new... Really gross looking, like... Like Venus flytrap looking, um, yeah. Gamato. Oh, what are the ones that... Are they called planters where they're like the big bulls? Oh, the pitcher the, plants. Pitcher plant. It looks like a, a basically a mixture of a bunch of canivore... Canivore? Yeah. Carnivore plants. If that well, looks. it says, yeah. And he says he's gonna name him Rook, and that's all about what we got from him. Which I imagine is probably like, oh, maybe he names him after chess pieces. But, like, it speaks in, like, full sentences. because Yeah, like, it says, oh, don't lump me in with you. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're getting so good at speaking. So it's like they're becoming even more sentient. They look stronger. 
it looks really cool. The design of this is so fucking cool. You're like, but you're grossed out by I'm it. I'm so grossed out by it, but I love it. Like, it has, like, a Venus flytrap thing on its forehead. So cool. But right now, they're fighting the big bo- boss of the episode, which the is... The tryptophobia monster. I love and hate this design. I, I have a bit of tryptophobia. It's really gross in ways, but at the same time, it does look really cool. It has corona hands. like. <laughs> and it, it's actually... It turns out that that was what the little girl was. The little girl in the red hat was yeah. the monster. Yeah, and she... Like, it, it releases, like, a pollen that, like, makes you hallucinate briefly. It makes your visors turn red. And, like, you basically attack Yeah, like, other. Buffa <laughs> fucking, like, swiped at um, Tycoon and Nyago. I don't think the game master is caring at that point. I don't think anyone well, is. actually, I'm realizing I don't think he was watching two deduct points. <laughs> we'll get back to that in a second. But, but yeah, no, so we pretty much have that. And it pretty much has... We go back and they're both... Oh, we think... We, I think we mentioned that Nyago's dad was a sponsor as well. Yes, we already did. Okay. Um, that was the pin I was telling you to leave in. <laughs> yeah, so... So, yeah, we find out all this information from Punk Jack, and they're both just like, we need to fucking need do to this. Shit. And, like, that's when and he they get calls... they two drivers, because well, Nago and Tycoon were... Uh, yeah, they defeated the riders, um, two of the, the Jamato riders. And the whole thing... Was it hide and seek? It's musical chairs. Musical chairs, because um, they're like, anybody who doesn't have a driver at the end of this round is out. Yeah. And the fucking game master comes in. Like, we saw this in the preview, and I believe we discussed it. Yeah, we're like, well, thanks for spoiling that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Which uh, they did again in this preview. I almost don't know if we want to mention it. We're going to mention it. Ugh, okay. But um, yeah, the Game Master comes out. He transforms. The Into Common really Rider cool. Glare. The vet belt is really cool. It is pretty cool. And this son of a bitch, like, because Punk Jack grabs the thing, puts his ID core in. Monster starts off, fighting. Starts fighting. And he basically, I, I used the analogy of, like, the game Duck Game, but for, that Adult Swim produced, for funny enough. Because First he, he kicks his ass. He absolutely kicks Punk Jack's ass. He says he's disappointed. He fucking knocks the pumpkin off his head. Like, the personalized... And then his thing. boob. And, and then, like, yeah, the thing on his boobs comes off, and it goes on his head, and he mind controls him, essentially. Yeah, and is pretty much about to fucking knock Geats out. I thought he was going to use him to destroy the driver. Yeah. But no, he just he holds off Geet. He almost Geet. He holds Geets off enough so and Tycoon kills the boss monster, and Geets is knocked out. Yeah, he loses. Ace loses. And even he looks surprised. Yeah. Oh, uh, we did. I we didn't mention Ace did kind of trick Punk Jack. In yeah, and he's just like I got foxed. Yeah, because he actually like did lose his driver on purpose, which kind of makes sense because we were like. Grab the driver! It's yeah. right there! Yeah, exactly. So, he so didn't he, do it on purpose. So, yeah, we don't have to be mad at him from a riding perspective. It's like, oh, he was actually doing that. Nice one. Nice Golf one. clap. Golf clap. But, uh, but, yeah, and that's kind of where the episode ends. But I'm, preview, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked they showed Ace. They they let they had Ace get knocked out. But seeing what ha- is gonna might be happening next episode... Oh, uh, Ace also mentioned to Punk Jack that the whole reason he asked for, like, to be the st- a huge star was because he wanted to try and get his mom's Yeah, he was trying to get his mom's attention. And uh, nothing, apparently. I was, wa- I'm actually kind of glad that got explained because I was really wondering why, why? <laughs> and yeah. I so- wonder, I genuinely wonder if they're, like, holding her captive or something. Who knows? Because, like, if, obviously, like, raising the dead isn't a problem for them, so it's like, why wouldn't they let him? So I th- wonder if they're, like, legitimately, like, holding her hostage for some reason. And, or, well, you never know what's part of her contract of being a staff member. Mm-hmm. But, um, so the preview. So. <laughs> you you had mentioned the thing with Buffa. Do you want to? Where it's like, because they, they were focusing on his driver and everything, and he was getting really beat up. And there was even a moment where Tycoon's like, hey, don't rush out there. You need to heal up so you don't die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he learned that lesson the hard way. Um, so yeah, he's getting his fucking ass kicked, and in the preview, it looks like he's fucking dying. Yeah, and, like, Geats looks like he was basically doing his, like, fame thing, he runs away, and he's, like, holding Buffa. A lot As like he's how, dying. A lot like how Tycoon held Ganpen, a lot like how Buffa held his friend, you know, a lot of repeats in that. And I wonder if Geats is gonna remember, because maybe he touches Buffa's ID core. Or something like that. It might happen. That's what I imagine will probably happen in some way. Uh, I'm really scared that Buffa's gonna be out. I was 
so surprised because it wasn't Punk Jack. Because I, like, the second that, like, the Game Master was like, you fucked up, I was like, well, it's nice knowing you, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Especially That's rough, when buddy. Things showed up, I was like, goodbye, old friend. You were so fun. And But no, it, it was Keats. Um, yeah. Which I, is really interesting. They've been very much keeping us on our toes in a very... Yeah, it's like, I don't think he's lots, out, out, lots of good obviously. Yeah, he, he just got, like, retired. For a little bit. He's gonna be back. Uh, but I imagine Ace will suck. Yeah, by the way, he the does game. reveal he he know, he put together who the Game Master was. Yeah. It was the butler. Yeah, it, what was his name? Gori. Gori. Gigori. Gigori. Yeah, I think it's Gigori. And, yeah, he revealed himself... To Geats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, like, Geats now knows that. So, who knows what's gonna happen when he regains his memories? Oh, Ben is played by Michael. Michael King. We forgot to say his name, so I wanted to make sure I said. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, so that's kind of... Jeez, is there anything else I want to mention? No, but it was honestly a really fun and really good. There were other parts, like... Like, Nyago and Tycoon wondering why they're being writers, but they're like, hey, but we chose the fight, and that's why we're doing it. Exactly. The reason hasn't changed. We want the world to be what we want it to be. So, that was nice. But yeah, that's, um, that's yeah, pretty much lots it. Lots of good stuff. Yeah. Favorite lots episode of the week? Oh, um... <sighs> Decker is really good. Yeah. I was gonna say Decker's really good, but that was also two episodes. Geats was also really good. Dawn Brothers was really good and really fun. And it, honestly, actually, yeah. Oh, They're all really, really good. Really good. So yeah. it's like, I, it crowns to all of them. Yeah, you know what? Crown, cr five crowns this week. Mm -hmm. Don't ask where the extra one came from, since we only had four episodes. <laughs> That's the overall. It's the big one. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a crown, actually, with, like, four little crowns on top of it. <laughs> sure. Um... Overall, I think they were all really good. Geats is continually rolling on. Decker is, seems like it's really packing up. And we only have 10 episodes left of Dawn Brothers. No! We got it confirmed recently. Dawn Brothers is ending at 50 episodes. So we have 10 left. Oh, God. There's so much good going on. The end on. is nine. But anyway, hopefully we'll have a fun Christmas episode. Even though it probably won't come out super close to christmas yeah uh, you know so i guess like this episode would be the closest to christmas right it might not be <laughs> do you think we'll release the next one in time well i haven't even edited the last one we recorded oh. <laughs> well you know what uh merry christmas happy holidays yeah um, hope you got Hanukkah, everything you want happy kwanzaa whatever you guys celebrate and if you don't celebrate anything i still hope you have a good time enjoy wherever you're at and enjoy you know, spending time with people you like. Enjoy or, the vibes. Or just chill and have some good vibes. And yeah. So yeah. Have a Merry Christmas and whatever else. And Happy holidays. Jingle jingle. <laughs> and until next week and or whenever else these get released. Thank you so much for listening and coming back as much as you do. We appreciate you. All right. Bye Thank bye. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Well, I about to say, I realize you already said it. But thank you so much for listening, and until next week, bye! bye, -bye.